Well, the countdown to the first day of school is on for many families in Hampton Roads. As the new school year approaches, Attorney General Jason Miares spoke with school employees and law enforcement across the state in Hampton to discuss the best practices to keep students safe. Casey Baylor shares what measures his office is now looking at to head of the year. This morning, Attorney General Jason Miares stressed the importance of safety training as one way to prevent school violence. And he also noted how vital school resource officers are to the school community. A tough couple of years for our kids. Miares says the COVID-19 pandemic, school violence and other factors have greatly impacted many students throughout the year. Those issues are why school employees and law enforcement agencies across Virginia meet every year for a conversation on school safety. At this year's school safety training forum at the Hampton Roads Convention Center, Miares highlighted initiatives launched over the past year like One Pill Can Kill. He also noted new updates to the Office of the Attorney General Virginia Rules Program. We've created a school safety curriculum for our elementary schoolers as well. We've also added for our teenagers lesson plans in both human trafficking and anti-Semitism. Now he's looking ahead with the new school year just weeks away. Miares says his office wants to make sure school administrators, teachers and other staff are properly trained to spot any red flags. And what to look for when you have right now a lot of young people that are dealing with a lot of issues at home that are heartbreaking and be able to, to do that proper intervention. He's also working on an initiative to get a school resource officer in every Virginia school. There was a bill last year that would have allowed a certain percentage of the ABC uh, licensing fee to be able to go towards localities to build a school resource officer fund. And he says to expect similar legislation in the upcoming General Assembly session in January. In Hampton, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Mayara says his office is also investigating the negative impact that Meta and TikTok have on young people and their mental health. He says more updates into that investigation will be announced soon.